Unit 2. 2. The description of the diverse forms of life on Earth was made only by observation through naked eyes or later through magnifying lenses and microscopes. This description is mainly of gross structural features, both external and internal. In addition, observable and perceivable living phenomena were also recorded as part of this description. Before experimental biology or more specifically, physiology, was established as a part of biology, naturalists described only biology. Hence, biology remained as a natural history for a long time. The description, by itself, was amazing in terms of detail. While the initial reaction of a student could be boredom, one should keep in mind that the detailed description was utilized in the later day reductionist biology where living processes drew more attention from scientists than the description of life forms and their structure. Hence, this description became meaningful and helpful in framing research questions in physiology or evolutionary biology. In the following chapters of this unit, the structural organization of plants and animals, including the structural basis of physiological or behavioral phenomena, is described. For convenience, this description of morphological and anatomical features is presented separately for plants and animals. Structural Organization In Plants and Animals Chapter 5 Morphology of Flowering Plants Chapter 6 Anatomy of Flowering Plants Chapter 7 Structural Organization in Animals 2021-22 Catherine ESAU was born in Ukraine in 1898. She studied agriculture in Russia and Germany and received her doctorate in 1931 in United States. She reported in her early publications that the curly top virus spreads through a plant via the food conducting or phloem tissue. Dr. Esso's plant anatomy published in 1954 took a dynamic developmental approach designed to enhance one's understanding of plant structure and an enormous impact worldwide, literally bringing about a revival of the discipline. The Anatomy of Seed Plants by Catherine Essa was published in 1960. It was referred to as Webster's of Plant Biology It is Encyclopediac. In 1957 she was elected to the National Academy of Sciences, becoming the sixth woman to receive that honor. In addition to this prestigious award, she received the National Medal of Science from President George Bush in 1989. When Catherine Essor died in the year 1997, Peter Raven, Director of Anatomy and Morphology, Missouri Botanical Garden, remembered that she absolutely dominated the field of plant biology even at the age of 99. Catherine Essor 1898-1997 2021-22 The wide range in the structure of higher plants will never fail to fascinate us. Even though the angiosperms show such a large diversity in external structure or morphology, they are all characterized by presence of roots, stems, leaves, flowers and fruits. In chapters 2 and 3, we talked about classification of plants based on morphological and other characteristics. For any successful attempt at classification and at understanding any higher plant, or for that matter any living organism, we need to know standard technical terms and standard definitions. We also need to know about the possible variations in different parts, found as adaptations of the plants to their environment, e.g., adaptions to various habitats, for protection, climbing, storage, etc. If you pull out any weed you will see that all of them have roots, stems and leaves. They may be bearing flowers and fruits. The underground part of the flowering plant is the root system while the portion above the ground forms the shoot system, figure 5.1. 5.1 The root. In majority of the dicotyledonous plants, the direct elongation of the radical leads to the formation of primary root which grows inside the soil. It bears lateral roots of several orders that are referred to as secondary, tertiary, etc. roots. The primary roots and its branches constitute the morphology of flowering plants. Chapter 5 5.1 The root 5.2 The stem 5.3 The leaf 
5.4 The inflorescence. 5.5 The fleur. 5.6 The fruit. 5.7 The seed. 5.8 Semi technical description of a typical flowering plant. 5.9 Description of some important families. 2021 to 22. 66 Biology. Fleur. Shoot system. Root system. Fruit. Bud. Stem leaf. Node internode. Primary root secondary root. Figure 5.2 Different types of roots. A. Tap. B. Fibrous. C. Adventitious. B. C. Figure 5.1 Parts of a flowering plant. Fibrous roots Adventitious roots. Laterals. A. Main root. Tap root system, as seen in the mustard plant, figure 5.2a. In monocotyledonous plants, the primary root is short-lived and is replaced by a large number of roots. These roots originate from the base of the stem and constitute the fibrous root system, as seen in the wheat plant, figure 5.2b. In some plants, like grass, monstera and the bunion tree, Roots arise from parts of the plant other than the radical and are called adventitious roots. Figure 5.2c. The main functions of the root system are absorption of water and minerals from the soil, providing a proper anchorage to the plant parts, storing reserved food material and synthesis of plant growth regulators. 2021-22. Morphology of flowering plants 67. 5th January 2001 Regions of the Root The root is covered at the apex by a thimble-like structure called the root cap, figure 5.3. It protects the tender apex of the root as it makes its way through the soil. A few millimeters above the root cap is the region of meristematic activity. The cells of this region are very small, thin-walled and with dense protoplasm. They divide repeatedly. The cells proximal to this region undergo rapid elongation and enlargement and are responsible for the growth of the root in length. This region is called the region of elongation. The cells of the elongation zone gradually differentiate and mature. Hence, this zone, proximal to region of elongation, is called the region of maturation. From this region some of the epidermal cells form very fine and delicate, thread-like structures called root hairs. These root hairs absorb water and minerals from the soil. 5th January 2002 Modifications of Root Roots in some plants change their shape and structure and become modified to perform functions other than absorption and conduction of water and minerals. They are modified for support, storage of food and respiration, figure 5.4 and 5.5. Tap roots of carrot, turnip and adventitious roots of sweet potato get swollen and store food. Can you give some more such examples? Have you ever wondered what those hanging structures that support a bunion tree are? These are called prop roots. Similarly, the stems of maj and sugarcane have supporting roots coming out of the lower nodes of the stem. These are called stilt roots. In some plants such as rhizophora growing in swampy areas, Many roots come out of the ground and grow vertically upwards. Such roots, called pneumatophores, help to get oxygen for respiration, figure 5.5b. Figure 5.3 The regions of the root tip. Figure 5.4 Modification of root for support, bunion tree. 2021-22. 68 Biology. 5.2 The stem. What are the features that distinguish a stem from a root? The stem is the ascending part of the axis bearing branches, leaves, flowers and fruits. It develops from the pumal of the embryo of a germinating seed. The stem bears nodes and internodes. The region of the stem where leaves are born are called nodes while internodes are the portions between two nodes. The stem bears buds, which may be terminal or axillary. Stem is generally green when young and later often become woody and dark brown. The main function of the stem is spreading out branches bearing leaves, flowers and fruits. It conducts water, minerals and photosynthesis. Some stems perform the function of storage of food, support, 
protection and of vegetative propagation. 5th February 2001 Modifications of stem The stem may not always be typically like what they are expected to be. They are modified to perform different functions. Figure 5.6 Underground stems of potato, ginger, turmeric, zaminkand, colocasia are modified to store food in them. They also act as organs of perennation to tide over conditions unfavorable for growth. Stem tendrils which develop from axillary buds are slender and spirally coiled and help plants to climb such as ingoods, cucumber, pumpkins, watermelon, and grapevines. Axillary buds of stems may also get modified into woody, straight and pointed thorns. Thorns are found in many plants such as citrus, bougainvillea. They protect plants from browsing animals. Some plants of arid regions modify their stems into flattened, opuntia, or fleshy cylindrical, euphorbia, structures. They contain chlorophyll and carry. Figure 5.5 Modification of root for A. Storage B. Respiration Pneumatophore in rhizophora A. B. Turnip Carrot Sweet Potato Asparagus 2021-22 Morphology of flowering plants 69. Figure 5.6 Modifications of stem for A. Storage B. Support C. Protection D. Spread and vegetative propagation Out photosynthesis Underground stems of some plants such as grass and strawberry, etc. spread to new niches and when older parts die new plants are formed. In plants like mint and jasmine a slender lateral branch arises from the base of the main axis and after growing aerially for some time arch downwards to touch the ground. A lateral branch with short internodes and each node bearing a rosette of leaves and a tuft of roots is found in aquatic plants like pistia and atonia. In banana, pineapple and chrysanthemum, the lateral branches originate from the basal and underground portion of the main stem grow horizontally beneath the soil and then come out obliquely upward giving rise to leafy shoots. 5.3 The leaf The leaf is a lateral, generally flattened structure borne on the stem. It develops at the node and bears a bud in its axil. The axillary bud later develops into a branch. Leaves originate from shoot apical meristems and are arranged in an acropetal order. They are the most important vegetative organs for photosynthesis. A typical leaf consists of three main parts, leaf base, petiole and lamina, figure 5.7a. The leaf is attached to the stem by the leaf base and may a, b, c, d. Axillary bud modified into tendril. Roots arising from nodes. Stem modified into spine. Ginger. Zaminkand potato. Bougainvillea sp. Oxalis sp. 2021 to 22 70 biology we are two lateral small leaf like structures called stipules in monocotyledons the leaf base expands into a sheath covering the stem partially or wholly in some leguminous plants the leaf base may become swollen which is called the pulvinus the petiole help hold the blade to light long thin flexible petioles allow leaf blades to flutter in wind thereby cooling the leaf and bringing fresh air to leaf surface. The lamina or the leaf blade is the green expanded part of the leaf with veins and veinlets. There is, usually, a middle prominent vein, which is known as the midrib. Veins provide rigidity to the leaf blade and act as channels of transport for water, minerals and food materials. The shape, margin, apex, surface and extent of incision of lamina varies in different leaves. 5th March 2001 Venation The arrangement of veins and the veinlets in the lamina of leaf is termed as venation. When the veinlets form a network, the venation is termed as reticulate, figure 5.7b. When the veins run parallel to each other within a lamina, the venation is termed as parallel, figure 5.7c. Leaves of dicotyledonous plants generally possess reticulate venation, while parallel venation is the characteristic of most monocotyledons. 5th March 2002 Types of Leaves A leaf is said to be simple, when its lamina is entire or when incised, 
The incisions do not touch the midrib. When the incisions of the lamina reach up to the midrib breaking it into a number of leaflets, the leaf is called compound. A bud is present in the axil of petiole in both simple and compound leaves, but not in the axil of leaflets of the compound leaf. The compound leaves may be of two types. Figure 5.8 In a pinnately compound leaf a number of leaflets are present on a common axis, the rushes, which represents the midrib of the leaf as in neem. Figure 5.7 Structure of a leaf A. Parts of a leaf B. Reticulate venation C. Parallel venation B. C. B. Silk cotton A. Lamina Petiole Stipule Leaf base Axillary bud A. Neem Figure 5.8 Compound leaves A. Pinnately compound leaf B. Palmately compound leaf. Rushes. 2021 to 22. Morphology of flowering plants 71. In palmately compound leaves, the leaflets are attached at a common point, i.e., at the tip of petiole, as in silk cotton. 5th March 2003 Philotaxy. Philotaxy is the pattern of arrangement of leaves on the stem or branch. This is usually of three types alternate, opposite and world, figure 5.9. In alternate type of philotaxy, a single leaf arises at each node in alternate manner, as in China rose, mustard and sunflower plants. In opposite type, a pair of leaves arise at each node and lie opposite to each other as in calotropis and guava plants. If more than two leaves arise at a node and form a whirl, it is called world, as in Alstonia. 5th March 2004 Modifications of Leaves Leaves are often modified to perform functions other than photosynthesis. They are converted into tendrils for climbing as in peas or into spines for defense as in cacti, figure 5.10a, b. The fleshy leaves of onion and garlic store food, figure 5.10c. In some plants such as Australian acacia, the leaves are small and short-lived. The petioles in these plants expand, become green and synthesize food. Leaves of certain insectivorous plants such as pitcher plant, Venus flytrap are also modified leaves. 5.4 The inflorescence. A flur is a modified shoot wherein the shoot apical meristem changes to floral meristem. Internodes do not elongate and the axis gets condensed. The apex produces different kinds of floral appendages laterally at successive nodes instead of leaves. When a shoot tip transforms into a flower, it is always solitary. The arrangement of flowers on the Figure 5.10 Modifications of leaf for A. Support Tendril B. Protection Spines C. Storage Fleshy leaves C. Onion fleshy leaves Leaf tendril a, P, B, Cactus. Leaves modified into spines. Figure 5.9 Different types of philotaxy. A, Alternate. B, Opposite. C, World. C, Alstonia. A, China Rose. B, Guava. 2021-22. 72 Biology. Floral axis is termed as inflorescence. Depending on whether the apex gets developed into a flower or continues to grow, two major types of inflorescences are defined racemos and cymos. In racemos type of inflorescences the main axis continues to grow, the flowers are born laterally in an acropetal succession, figure 5.11. In cymos type of inflorescence the main axis terminates in a flower, hence is limited in growth. The flowers are born in a bacipetal order, figure 5.12. 5.5 The Fleur The Fleur is the reproductive unit in the angiosperms. It is meant for sexual reproduction. A typical Fleur has four different kinds of whorls arranged successively on the swollen end of the stalk or pedicel, called thalamus or receptacle. These are calyx, corolla, androsium and gynoecium. Calyx and corolla are accessory organs, while androsium and gynoecium are reproductive organs. In some flowers like lily, the calyx and corolla are not distinct and are termed as perianth. 
When a fleur has both androsium and gynoecium, it is bisexual. A fleur having either only stamens or only carpels is unisexual. In symmetry, the fleur may be actinomorphic, radial symmetry, or zygomorphic, bilateral symmetry. When a fleur can be divided into two equal radial halves in any radial plane passing through the center, it is said to be actinomorphic, e.g., mustard, datura, chili. When it can be divided into two similar halves only. In one particular vertical plane, it is zygomorphic. E.g., p, gulmohur, bean, cassia. A fleur is asymmetric, irregular, if it cannot be divided into two similar halves by any vertical plane passing through the center, as in canna. A fleur may be trimerous, tetramerous or pentamerous when the floral appendages are in multiple of three, four or five, respectively. Flowers with bracts reduced leaf found at the base of the pedicel are called bracteate and those without bracts, abracteate. Figure 5.12 Cymos inflorescence. Figure 5.11 Racemos inflorescence. 2021 to 22. Morphology of flowering plants 73. Based on the position of calyx, corolla, and androsium in respect of the ovary on thalamus, the flowers are described as hypogynous, perigynous, and epigynous. Figure 5.13. In the hypogynous fleur, the gynoecium occupies the highest position while the other parts are situated below it. The ovary in such flowers is said to be superior, e.g., mustard, china rose, and brinjal. If gynoecium is situated in the center and other parts of the fleur are located on the rim of the thalamus almost at the same level, it is called perigynous. The ovary here is said to be half inferior, e.g., plum, rose, peach. In epigynous flowers, the margin of thalamus grows upward enclosing the ovary completely and getting fused with it, the other parts of fleur arise above the ovary. Hence, the ovary is said to be inferior as in flowers of guava and cucumber, and the ray florets of sunflower. 5th May 2001 Parts of a Fleur each fleur normally has four floral whorls, whiz, calyx, corolla, androsium and gynoecium, figure 5.14. 5.5.1.1 Calyx The calyx is the outermost whorl of the fleur and the members are called sepals. Generally, sepals are green, leaf-like and protect the fleur in the bud stage. The calyx may be gamospelous, sepals united, or polysepalous, sepals free. 5.5.1.2 Corolla Corolla is composed of petals. Petals are usually brightly colored to attract insects for pollination. Like calyx, corolla may also be. Figure 5.13 Position of floral parts on thalamus, A. Hypogynous, B. and C. Perigynous, D. Epigynous, A. B. C. D. 2021 to 22. 74 Biology. Gamopetalous, petals united, or polypetalous, petals free. The shape and color of corolla vary greatly in plants. Corolla may be tubular, bell shaped, funnel shaped, or wheel shaped. Estivation, the mode of arrangement of sepals or petals in floral bud with respect to the other members of the same whorl, is known as estivation. The main types of estivation are volvert, twisted, imbricate and vexillary, figure 5.15. When sepals or petals in a whorl just touch one another at the margin, without overlapping, as in calotropis, it is said to be volvert. If one margin of the appendage overlaps that of the next one and so on as in china rose, ladies finger and cotton, it is called twisted. If the margins of sepals or petals overlap one another but not in any particular direction as in cassia and gulmohur, the estivation is called imbricate. In pea and bean flowers, there are five petals, the largest, standard, overlaps the two lateral petals, wings, which in turn overlap the two smallest anterior petals, keel, this type of estivation is known as vexillary or papillionaceous. Pedicel calyx corolla androsium, gynoecium, figure 5.14 parts of a fleur, figure 5.15 types of estivation in corolla, a, 
Volver, B. Twisted, C. Imbricate, D. Vexillary, A. B. C. D. 2021 to 22. Morphology of flowering plants 75. 5.5.1.3 Androsium. Androsium is composed of stamens. Each stamen which represents the male reproductive organ consists of a stalk or a filament and an anther. Each anther is usually belobed and each lobe has two chambers, the pollen sacs. The pollen grains are produced in pollen sacs. A sterile stamen is called staminode. Stamens of fleur may be united with other members such as petals or among themselves. When stamens are attached to the petals, they are epipetalous as in brinjal, or epiphyllous when attached to the perianth as in the flowers of lily. The stamens in a fleur may either remain free, polyandrous, or may be united in varying degrees. The stamens may be united into one bunch or one bundle, monoadelphus, as in China rose, or two bundles, diadelphus, as in pea, or into more than two bundles, polydelphus, as in citrus. There may be a variation in the length of filaments within a fleur, as in salvia and mustard. 5.5.1.4 Gynetium Gynetium is the female reproductive part of the fleur and is made up of one or more carpels. A carpel consists of three parts namely stigma, style and ovary. Ovary is the enlarged vassal part, on which lies the elongated tube, the style. The style connects the ovary to the stigma. The stigma is usually at the tip of the style and is the receptive surface for pollen grains. Each ovary bears one or more ovules attached to a flattened, cushion-like placenta. When more than one carpel is present, they may be free, as in lotus and rose, and are called apocarpus. They are termed syncarpus when carpels are fused, as in mustard and tomato. After fertilization, the ovules develop into seeds and the ovary matures into a fruit. Placentation, the arrangement of ovules within the ovary is known as placentation. The placentation are of different types namely, marginal, axil, parietal, vassal, central and free central, figure 5.16. In marginal placentation the placenta forms a ridge along the ventral suture of the ovary and the ovules are born on this ridge forming two rows, as in P. When the placenta is axial and the ovules are attached to it in a multilocular ovary, the placention is said to be axial, as in China rose, tomato and lemon. In parietal placentation, the ovules develop on the inner wall of the ovary or on peripheral part. Ovary is one-chambered but it becomes two-chambered due to the formation of the false septum, e.g., mustard and argemone. When the ovules are born on central axis and septa are absent, as in dianthus and primrose, the placentation is. Figure 5.16 Types of placentation A. Marginal, B. Axial, C. Parietal, D. Free central, E. Vassal, A. E. B. D. C. A. 2021 to 22. 76 Biology. Called free central. In basal placentation, the placenta develops at the base of ovary and a single ovule is attached to it, as in sunflower, marigold. 5.6 The fruit. The fruit is a characteristic feature of the flowering plants. It is a mature or ripened ovary, developed after fertilization. If a fruit is formed without fertilization of the ovary, it is called a parthenocarpic fruit. Generally, the fruit consists of a wall or pericarp and seeds. The pericarp may be dry or fleshy. When pericarp is thick and fleshy, it is differentiated into the outer epicarp, the middle mesocarp and the inner endocarp. In mango and coconut, the fruit is known as a droop, figure 5.17. They develop from monocarpillary superior ovaries and are one-seeded. In mango the pericarp is well differentiated into an outer thin epicarp, a middle fleshy edible mesocarp and an inner stony hard endocarp. In coconut which is also a droop, the mesocarp is fibrous. 5.7 The seed. The ovules after fertilization, develop into seeds. A seed is made up of a seed coat and an embryo. The embryo is made up of a radical, 
an embryonal axis and one, as in wheat, maj, or two cotyledones, as in gram and p. 5th July 2001 Structure of a dicotyledonous seed The outermost covering of a seed is the seed coat. The seed coat has two layers, the outer testa and the inner tegmen. The hilum is a scar on the seed coat through which the developing seeds were attached to the fruit. Above the hilum is a small pore called the micropyl. Within the seed. Figure 5.17 Parts of a fruit, A. Mango, B. Coconut. A. B. 2021-22 Morphology of flowering plants 77. Coat is the embryo consisting of an embryonal axis and two cotyledones. The cotyledones are often fleshy and full of reserved food materials. At the two ends of the embryonal axis are present the radical and the plumal, figure 5.18. In some seeds such as castor the endosperm formed as a result of double fertilization, is a food storing tissue and called endospermic seeds. In plants such as bean, gram and pea, the endosperm is not present in much your seeds and such seeds are called non-endospermous. Seed coat. Hilum. Micropyl. Cotyledon plumal. Radical. Figure 5.18 Structure of dicotyledonous seed. Figure 5.19 Structure of a monocotyledonous seed. Seed coat and fruit wall. Alluron layer. Endosperm. Scutellum. Coleoptile. Plumal. Radical coleoriza. Endosperm. Embryo. 5th July 2002 Structure of monocotyledonous seed. Generally, monocotyledonous seeds are endospermic but some as in orchids are non-endospermic. In the seeds of cereals such as maj the seed coat is membranous and generally fused with the fruit wall. The endosperm is bulky and stores food. The outer covering of endosperm separates the embryo by a proteinous layer called alluron layer. The embryo is small and situated in a groove at one end of the endosperm. It consists of one large and shield-shaped cotyledon known as scutellum and a short axis with the plumal and a radical. The plumal and radical are enclosed in sheaths which are called coleoptile and coleoriza respectively, figure 5.19. 2021-22. Seventy eight biology. Five point eight semi technical description of a typical flowering plant. Various morphological features are used to describe a flowering plant. The description has to be brief, in a simple and scientific language, and presented in a proper sequence. The plant is described beginning with its habit, vegetative characters, roots, stem, and leaves, and then floral characters, inflorescence, and flower parts. After describing various parts of plant, a floral diagram and a floral formula are presented. The floral formula is represented by some symbols. In the floral formula, BR stands for bracteate, K stands for calyx, C for corolla, P for perianth, A for androsium and G for gynoecium, G for superior ovary and G for inferior ovary, for male, for female, for bisexual plants, for actinomorphic and for zygomorphic nature of fleur. Fusion is indicated by enclosing the figure within bracket and adhesion by a line drawn above the symbols of the floral parts. A floral diagram provides information about the number of parts of a fleur, their arrangement and the relation they have with one another, figure 5.20. The position of the mother axis with respect to the fleur is represented by a dot on the top of the floral diagram. Calyx, Corolla, Androsium and Gynoecium are drawn in successive worlds, Calyx being the outermost and the Gynoecium being in the center. Floral formula also shows cohesion and adhesion within parts of worlds and between worlds. The floral diagram and floral formula in figure 5.20 represents the mustard plant, family, Brassicaceae. 5.9 Description of some important families. 5th September 2001 Fabaceae. This family was earlier called Papillionoidae, a subfamily of family Leguminosae. It is distributed all over the world. Figure 5.21. Vegetative characters. Trees, shrubs, herbs, root with root nodules stem, erect or climber leaves, alternate, 
pinnately compound or simple, leaf base, pulvinate, stipulate, venation reticulate. Figure 5.20 Floral Diagram with Floral Formula K2 plus 2C4 A2 plus 4G 2 2021 to 22 Morphology of Flowering Plants 79 B C A D E F Figure 5.21 Pisum Sativum P Plant A Flowering Twig B Fleur C Petals D Reproductive parts, E, L. S. Carpal, F, Floral diagram. Floral characters inflorescence, racemos fleur, bisexual, zygomorphic calyx, sepals 5, gamospolus, volvath imbricate estivation corolla, petals 5, polypetalus, papillionaceous, consisting of a posterior standard, two lateral wings, two anterior ones forming a keel, enclosing stamens and pistil. Vexillary estivation androsium, 10, diadelphus, anther dithicus gynetium, ovary superior, monocarpillary, unilocular with many ovules, style single fruit, legume, seed, 1. To many, non endospermic floral formula, percent K, 5, C1 plus 2 plus, 2, A, 9, plus 1 G1 economic importance. Many plants belonging to the family are sources of pulses, gram, aha, sem, moon, soya bean, edible oil, soya bean, groundnut, dye, indigofera, fibers, sunhame, fodder, sesbania, trifolium, ornamentals, lupin, sweet pea, medicine, moliaki. 5th September 2002 Solnaki. It is a large family, commonly called as the Potato family. It is widely distributed in tropics, subtropics and even temperate zones. Figure 5.22. Vegetative characters. Plants mostly herbs, shrubs and rarely small trees stem, herbaceous rarely woody, aerial, erect, cylindrical, branched, solid. 2021 to 22. 80 biology. Or hollow, hairy or glabrous. Underground stem in potato, solanum tuberosum, leaves, alternate, simple, rarely pinnately compound, axe venation reticulate. Floral characters. Inflorescence, solitary, axillary or cymose as in solanum fleur, bisexual, actinomorphic calyx, sepals 5, united, persistent, volvath estivation corolla, petals 5, united. Volvath estivation androsium, stamens 5, epipetalus gynetium, bicarpillary obligately placed, syncarpus, ovary superior, bilocular, placenta swollen with many ovules, axil fruits, berry or capsule seeds, many, endospermous. Floral formula. Economic importance. Many plants belonging to this family are source of food, tomato, brinjal, potato, spice, Chili, medicine, belladonna, ashwagandha, fumigatory, tobacco, ornamentals, petunia. B. A. C. D. E. F. Figure 5.22 Solanum nigrum, makoi, plant, A. Flowering twig, B. Fleur, C. L. Is a fleur, D. Stamens, E. Carpal, F. Floral diagram. 2021 to 22. Morphology of flowering plants 81. 5th September 2003 Liliaceae. Commonly called the lily family, is a characteristic representative of monocotyledonous plants. It is distributed worldwide. Figure 5.23. Vegetative characters. Perennial herbs with underground bulbs combs rhizomes. Leaves mostly basal, alternate. Linear, axe with parallel venation. Floral characters. Inflorescence, solitary cymos, often umbellate clusters fleur, bisexual, actinomorphic perianth tepal 6, 3 plus 3, often united into tube, volvath estivation androsium, stamen 6, 3 plus 3, epitpolis gynetium, cricarpillary, syncarpus, ovary superior, 
Trilocula with many ovules, axil placentation fruit, capsule, rarely berry seed, endospermous floral formula, BRP, 3 plus 3, A3 plus 3G, 3, economic importance. Many plants belonging to this family are good ornamentals, tulip, gloriosa, source of medicine, aloe, vegetables, asparagus, and colchicine, colchicum autumnal. Figure 5.23 Allium siepa, onion, plant, A, plant, B, inflorescence, C, fleur, D, floral diagram, D, B, C, A. 2021 to 22. 82 Biology. Summary Flowering plants exhibit enormous variation in shape, size, structure, mode of nutrition, lifespan habit and habitat. They have well-developed root and shoot systems. Root system is either taproot or fibrous. Generally, dicotyledonous plants have tap roots while monocotyledonous plants have fibrous roots. The roots in some plants get modified for storage of food, mechanical support and respiration. The shoot system is differentiated into stem, leaves, flowers and fruits. The morphological features of stems like the presence of nodes and internodes, multicellular hair and positively phototropic nature help to differentiate the stems from roots. Stems also get modified to perform diverse functions such as storage of food, vegetative propagation and protection under different conditions. Leaf is a lateral outgrowth of stem developed exogenously at the node. These are green in color to perform the function of photosynthesis. Leaves exhibit marked variations in their shape, size, margin, apex and extent of incisions of leaf blade, lamina. Like other parts of plants, the leaves also get modified into other structures such as tendrils, spines for climbing and protection respectively. The fleur is a modified shoot, meant for sexual reproduction. The flowers are arranged in different types of inflorescences. They exhibit enormous variation in structure, symmetry, position of ovary in relation to other parts, arrangement of petals, sepals, ovules etc. After fertilization, the ovary is modified into fruits and ovules into seeds. Seeds either may be monocotyledonous or dicotyledonous. They vary in shape, size and period of viability. The floral characteristics form the basis of classification and identification of flowering plants. This can be illustrated through semi-technical descriptions of families. Hence, a flowering plant is described in a definite sequence by using scientific terms. The floral features are represented in the summarized form as floral diagrams and floral formula. Exercises 1. What is meant by modification of root? What type of modification of root is found in the A. Bunyan tree B. Turnip C. Mangrove trees To justify the following statements on the basis of external features I. Underground parts of a plant are not always roots 2. Fleur is a modified shoot 3. How is a pinnately compound leaf different from a palmately compound leaf? 4. Explain with suitable examples the different types of phyllotaxy. 2021-22 Morphology of flowering plants 83 5. Define the following terms a. Estivation b. Placentation c. Actinomorphic d. Zygomorphic e. Superior ovary f. Perigynous fleur g. Epipetalous stamen 6 Differentiate between a. Racemose and cymose inflorescence, b. Fibrous root and adventitious root, c. Apocarpus and syncarpus ovary 7. Draw the label diagram of the following, i. Gram seed, 2. Wheels of match seed 8. Describe modifications of stem with suitable examples. 9. Take one fleur each of the families Fabaceae and Solnaceae and write its semi-technical description. Also draw their floral diagram after studying them. 10. Describe the various types of placentations found in flowering plants. 11. What is a fleur? Describe the parts of a typical angiosperm fleur. 12. How do the various leaf modifications help plants? 13. Define the term inflorescence.
Explain the basis for the different types of inflorescence in flowering plants. 14. Write the floral formula of actinomorphic, bisexual, hypogynous flower with 5 united sepals, 5 free petals, 5 free stamens and 2 united carpels with superior ovary and axil placentation. 15. Describe the arrangement of floral members in relation to their insertion on thalamus. 2021-22